Breaking news, Cameron Reddish has been traded to the New York Knicks in exchange for a second round pick, a first round pick and Kevin Knox. So let's talk about it. Well, there was more in the trade, but that's the specific, like the most important pieces that we're going to talk about today. So let's start off with the Hawks. People are saying the Hawks took an L and in hindsight, well not in hindsight, but if you're looking at overall in the return, yes, they did take an L. But I don't feel like they did because I don't feel like they were going to pay Cam Reddish regardless because I believe DeAndre Hunter is a better player and it was between the two, DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish, who was going to get paid. And Cam Reddish just hasn't taken that jump where you can justify paying him instead of DeAndre Hunter. So I feel like if he wasn't traded now, then they were just going to let him walk and they wouldn't have matched any offers in a restricted free agency. So um, I think it's good that they got protected first. I think they will have the first because Charlotte are a good team. So the first might be anywhere between 20 to whatever, but that might be a valuable asset. And then Kevin Knox, you know, I feel like Kevin Knox is also a decent asset to have. People are forgetting that the man is young. People might call him a scrub or a bust, whatever. But Kevin Knox was drafted at 18 years old. I believe he's only 21, maybe 22 now. He's younger than a lot of people coming up in this NBA draft. And he's very athletic. He's a great defender. He can shoot three ball. So I don't know if they're going to waive him or he's going to crack the rotation if they don't waive him. But it will be interesting to see. But I feel like the main reason why they did the deal was the picks. So let's now talk about the Knicks. Funny enough, I'm a bit skeptical about how this works because if you look at the Knicks right now, Woj's tweet did say that the Knicks are promising him a much bigger role, but how much bigger? Because in the wing position, you have, you have, who do you have? You have Alec Burke is playing point guard, but he can play small forward. Evan Fournier is like a two slash three. You then have, oh, I'm forgetting his name. I hate it when this happens. Then you then have RJ Barrett, you know, there's just a lot of rotational players in that 2-3 area and Cameron is like a shooting guard slash small forward, so there's a lot of players in that area, so I don't exactly know how that's going to work, but you know, if they're offering him a bigger role, then there must be something Tom Thibodeau sees, and we all know Tibbs love defensive guys, and Cam Reddish is a great defender, he's a versatile defender and has good length, so that's a sign, and in my opinion, could this be the reunite, well, Two Duke players already being reunited, but could that mean Zion's on his way to New York? Imagine that Zion, RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish all on the same team, just like it was in that 2018 Duke season. It'll be crazy, but also 2019. The 2019, yeah, the 2019 Duke season, my bad. But yeah, that'll be crazy to see. So I feel like the Hawks, I feel like it's like a level trade, but talent wise, you could argue the Knicks got a better deal because they obviously got the better player. But for the Hawks, it's not an L because you got a first round pick for something you didn't plan on keeping anyway. So I don't really see it as an L, but I really do hope Cam Reddish can, can flourish and do well because I'm a strong believer in Cam Reddish. I feel like the Paul George comparisons are a bit, you know, a bit too, people are getting a bit too ahead of themselves, but I feel like Cam Reddish is a very good player. And he's one of them players where if you look at his intangibles, he doesn't have that many weaknesses skill set wise. Like he can create his own shot. He can shoot, he can defend. It's more of just ironing out those places and making him and him being a more comfortable in those areas. But overall, I feel like Cam Reddish has a lot of potential and I'm interested to see how this trade can pan out. So that's all I've really got for this video. Actually, no, it's not. But the Hawks do need defense. So like I said, it'll be interesting to see if that first round pick is packaged in another deal. Or I don't know, but there's rumors about Ben Simmons, but I just don't see that happen. I don't see the sixth interest in John Collins, but yeah, that's all I've got for this video. I feel like it's a decent trade and I'm excited to see what happens, how many, how many minutes Reddish will get, how he will fit in. But yeah, that's all I've got to today's video and I'm out. Peace.